Hey there, I'm Brother Jason. Today we're looking at Baptist Catechism question number 22. And that question asks this, What is the sinfulness of the condition into which all mankind has fallen? What condition is all mankind in? And the answer to that question is this, The sinfulness of the condition into which all mankind fell is the guilt of Adam's first sin, the lack of original righteousness, and the corruption of our whole nature which is commonly called original sin, together with all of the actual transgressions which come from that nature. Let's look at a couple of verses in the Bible to see what it has to say. Romans chapter 5, verse 19 states this, For as through one man's disobedience the many were made sinners, even through the obedience of the one the many will be made righteous. The Bible is clear that every man is a sinner because originally of Adam's sin, but also because of their own sin. Romans 3.10 says this, As it is written, There is none righteous, no, not even one. And here Paul is you know, he's, he's saying a verse out of the Old Testament. This verse from the Old Testament reiterating this fact that there is nobody who's righteous, no, nobody righteous at all. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1 says this, And you were dead in your trespasses and sins. And this is the, the condition into which we are born. We're born into this world spiritually dead, dead in trespasses and sins. We have this issue of sin in our, in our, in our being, in our, who we are. It's kind of like our DNA. It's tied up into who we are because Adam fell in sin. We also are sinners. We're born in sin. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 6 states this, All of us like sheep have gone astray. Each one of us turned into his own way. But the Lord has caused the iniquity of us all to fall on him. We see this even as Isaiah is prophesying of Christ taking all the sins of the world upon himself. The reason he did that is because all of us, like sheep, have gone astray. There is nobody in this world who hasn't sinned. You, me, anybody else, all of us have sinned. We all are sinners. Psalm 51.5 states this, Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. David understood his situation. He was a sinner from birth. Not that his mother was a sinner and conceived him in, you know, illegitimately, but that David was a sinner from birth. David knew that. Matthew chapter 15, verse 19, these are the words of Jesus, and he says, For out of the heart comes evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, and slanders. We don't have to teach anybody how to do these things. This is the natural default. Mankind comes into this world knowing how to sin, and we sin, we proliferate sin. It, it happens all of the time, and we come up with new ways to sin. You don't have to teach anybody how to do this. This is, a, this is the natural default that we come into this world with. Mankind is sinful. That is the situation and, and state that we have fallen into. Question 22 asks this, What is the sinfulness of that condition into which all mankind has fallen? And all mankind has fallen into this. The answer, The sinfulness of the condition into which all mankind fell is the guilt of Adam's first sin, the lack of original righteousness, and the corruption of our whole nature, which is commonly called original sin, together with all actual transgressions which come from this nature.